5 p.m. It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash How'd and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Is she going to destination number five? Because he was in an apartment. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. Oh, so I thought it was... Lead, but it's all I've got. The dude Ethan was going to see, but okay. Sure. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry. You were misinformed. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Shit. I was busy squirming in my seat. Apologies. God damn it. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. He's so creepy. Um, what do you want so, me? So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thank you. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. This guy's creepy. Is he trying to drug me? I mean, drugs are his specialty after all. Well, he can take a whole sip first before I touch it. Thanks. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Um, chase trick evade, invent, vague, vague. I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Mm. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Nope. Nope. That was... meant something to him. He just gulped it, yet there's still liquid in his glass. Lol. You're not drinking? Oh, f there's still liquid in his glass. I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Is he gonna come back with a gun? He's suspicious. I'm suspicious. We're all suspicious. That gives me the creeps. No shit. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets I back. I don't really know what you're looking for though, dear. There's not much to really look at. This is a terrible idea. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. You don't go to There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Duff. There's not gonna be anything in this room. I'm I'm literally holding down. What the, what else do you want of me? Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. What else do you want of me? Come 
God, this thing feels so intrusive. I don't like this plan at all. Blue Lagoon. Okay, let's just get out. Let's just get out. No, not no. Let's just get out. I don't want to be caught. And then he's standing right there on the other side of the door. Lol. And then we go sit back down. I have to look at these papers. Oh, okay. Look in there. I'm sure there's more to find, but I'm very suspicious of myself. So, can I can I sit back down? Can I sit down anywhere? Am I supposed to be going into a different room? I've wasted so much time, I really don't want to. Oh, I could just say I want to use the amenities, I guess. That's a thing. gonna kill time now. I'm just gonna stand here awkwardly. Man, I don't want to get caught. Can you imagine how he'd react? <sighs> I don't think this is what the game wanted me to do though, but I don't want to get caught. I've got the answer to your sleeping problem right here. Sweet dreams, my dear. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck's wrong with this guy? What the hell? Is he just doing surgery on me? No. Yes. What the hell? Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Well, she gon' die. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco. How much must I... Okay, good, because I am... I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from that's the... That's lovely. <laughs> I really don't think screaming's the answer here. To I'm sure honest, everybody screams. Just as long as and struggling just seems to be wearing me out. He can do whatever he likes. <laughs> but enough with the chit-chat. Is there anything I can look at to I help? I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so God. I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. There's my stinger. I can't see him. It just keeps moving. Holy shit, what the fuck is he doing? What the hell? Is there anything I can do? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Oh god. What can I do to get myself off? I mean, I'm looking. I can't... Okay, that one is of no use to me. What about this one? She is so dead. Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of his magnificent. What about that? There's Bible something sharp there. I would gladly be with you. Yes. That doesn't help my hand though. Shh, fucking god. No thanks, I love you. Yeah, for religious people. Not the of the word Shit. of the Lord is of no interest to you. We God, she is going to cut off our leg at this rate. Thanks a lot, but I don't need it. How does this help her hands? Who does not need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred? What? Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility and you need it. Also, am I holding X? I'm holding X. My bad. 
hot. I'm fucking sweating. I can't hold the controller. <sighs> I'm so dead, girl. I'm sorry. I've done my best. <gasps> oh, God. This is not where I thought the game was going, for sure. Lol. Um, I think he's gonna win with his electrical appliance. Oh shit. Fuck me. This doesn't punish you if you fail once. Go call the cops on his ass, although that would get you caught. I'm moving the fucking thing! Don't tell me I'm not doing it. God, a sadistic fuck. Are we just like shit stapling him? What are we even doing here? Or is he stapling me? God, I don't even know what you potentials we've got here. I am terrified. Oh, sorry, controller. Hey, I won that. What do you mean I failed that? It showed that I succeeded. What? It showed that I succeeded in doing my squares, and yet... Oh, is she faking it? No? What the fuck? I'm so confused. I succeeded. Okay, yes I did. I succeeded. <laughs> I wonder I was confused. I was like, it even said I succeeded. What? Cool. We just murdered a man. Yay. Yay us. Okay, well at least now we can peruse his house at our leisure. <laughs> That's one way to go about it, Madison. Oh, wow. Okay. We just killed a man. Awesome. This game's taking us many, many, many places. I didn't think we were going to go. Whew, I think I need to uh, drive my hands after that. Gosh, I'm sweating. My hands. They're so nervous. Well, I don't know their hands can be nervous. They don't have an emotion. Yeah, what am I going to know? Access prohibited. 2.18pm. Three and a half inches. Time's a ticking. We're gonna use Ari again. Hope you lock your car if you're leaving your gun in it. And then it wasn't in the open, so everyone could see it as well. Uh, where are we going exactly? Is there a direction of preference? I don't know where we're going. Am I just going towards the light? What are we doing? What are we doing? Can you please tell me what we're doing here? I have no idea. Someone in the truck? Are we looking at what it's pointing at? Jesus, that's right. Why are we here? We're going in the building? Which is what I would have thought, but the camera didn't point us in that direction, so I assume we weren't going in. What are you looking at? I have no idea what he's looking at. I can't change my camera. Is there anybody here? Hey, Quacker! What you doing in there? Are you who I'm supposed to be bloody seeing? Well, yay for signposting. Norman Thanks, Jayden, game. FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Do you, or you just lying to me, sir? Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. 
You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Well, Ari's going to tell us otherwise. Oh, so many things to look at. Long tire tracks? Hmm, <laughs> not the car I'm looking for. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. I won't assume so unless you're looking at your own footprints. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Now that's an intriguing question. Can we follow the blood trail? There is no blood trail. It starts here, does it? No. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. He dispose of a body? Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. Yeah, Jackson Neville. Okay, sure, put me on the side of the bench. Size 10? No, 13. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Wait, did I miss this one here? Because it's glowing orange. in here. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Yes, I'm getting to the bench, all right. Patience is a virtue. Not the right car either. Gary comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. It's just his fingerprints here. So what about the pollen? What's the pollen got to do with anything? I already looked at this and it said it wasn't the right tire track, didn't I? Yeah. So why are you still glowing, yo? I don't think there's anything else here. Except, well, Few traces paint. of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Ah, paint shop. Prince yet again. Just something else weird in that corner. 
Then why does this go this way? Hmm. Or maybe it's just hovering around the car. Let's go over here. I mean, am I following the scent further from here, or is that it? Is there anything more for me to discover here? At least the acid baths, aren't they? Ooh! He did indeed dispose of bloody. You about to be attacked from behind, no? Yes, yes you are. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Lovely. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight. And this is not gonna go well. Off. These circles in the area are not helping my visibility. Oh, that's good, now I can see. Why are there so many fight scenes? Can't everybody just get along? I always seem to fail those, even though I wiggle the controller so damn hard. What you got? I got a gun, though I really don't want to have to shoot you. I need you for information. You know about the blue Chevrolet. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Um. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Enough. <laughs> I'm starting to remember some things. Yay! You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. Go for it. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. You stay down, sir. False plates. You stay down. Cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the blue. Lagoon ah, and that's the card that, that Madison got. But that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. Just leave him. You have the right to remain silent. Oh dear. Anything... Oh dear. Shit, not now. He's gonna Anything get killed can, because of this. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Please don't put me in the acid bath. Oh. No, just leave it. We don't they want that. You dope heads in the FBI now? God Although this is going to get me killed from old mate. I need to stop depending on the drug, though. Help with your drug problem, Mr. Favo. Permanently. Oh, I think I just died. That's bitch. No? Oh, I'm on a machine. Oh, shit. This is so not ideal. Uh. Can't really see what I'm doing. I don't think anyone's gonna hear, buddy. Okay, look around. Wait, you have a gun. In the car. Was it a knife? I don't even know at this point. Oh god. Oh god, precision. You're gonna deafen yourself and possibly lose a hand. Pick up the gun. You may need it. And maybe get the hell out while you're at it. <gasps> Did I just die? Oh 
will be damned if I go down with the car. I would at least pick up the gun if you had the chance. Jump! Shit! I almost missed that cue. Yeah, I wouldn't stay there either. I would also hide so that he doesn't find you. So that you're still alive. Oh shit. Oh shit. Again? I'm sweating like a pig. My hands are sweating. Oh, I'm gonna fail this again. Come on. Isn't the fact that I'm alive good enough for the game? Really? Come on. What you got? I've got a metal pot. That's what I've got. Every single time! I've got to move the controller. It doesn't like it. Oh, come on, two out of three is not bad. Really? You're gonna go and try and tackle the big man? Not really what I'd recommend. You are failing miserably, sir. Come on, Norman. Oh, God. Going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Like honestly, people get exhausted before this. Did I get it or did I not get it? Oh yes! Ooh. That's vile. Okay, we're alive. We have possibly stopped that over reliance on the drug, although it's only the first time that we stopped using it. Uh, and also, can we uh, look up the skull in the acid bath and we can find out who it belongs to, or is it like literally burnt away everything remaining of that person? Maybe they can use skull records to find out which copy killed? I don't know. 430. 3.62 inches. 672 inches. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? You never know. If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm well, starving. Why don't you compare Definitely them with the names eat. of the people who bought the Royal well, Five no Typewriters? But I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? Sure. I don't really know be my guest. where the kitchen is. Go to my bedroom. The it's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Is she gonna take the evidence and run? Like, honestly. Do we have egg? We have two whole eggs. I thought we were looking at the plate. I'm like, why do we need a plate? You've got to cook them first. And is that just two eggs for everybody? That's not gonna get you very far. Or is this just for her? Or 
We're making scramble gags, guys. Or not. Please don't burn your house down. Please don't burn your house down. That looks terrible. Okay, can we turn it off now? Ew. Just looks like a gelatinous mess to me. No! Sideways! I don't know if that's cooked or not. It looks see-through to me. That looks terrible. Hope she likes undercooked eggs. Because that's what she's got. I was afraid of burning it, to be honest. Can I clean up? Or... No? Oop. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Am I sitting down to at least chat, or am I just hovering creepily? I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. And cross-reference oh, you know, them with the, the origami. Clients one by one. Oh, cross-reference with the origami magazine subscription list. Except that I just checked them with the list. The list of subscribers to origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. It took them a while, but they clicked. Sorry about the eggs. I just wasn't sure how long I was supposed to, you know, things in the past have taken two seconds to cook or heat up, so... If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Correct. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. I mean, I was trying to help you, but it wouldn't let me sit. Like I come into my desk back. That must be so tedious. Oh, you found somebody. What are the odds? What are the odds? Do you want to keep going to make sure there's nobody else that's cross that cross references? Just to be safe. What name did you find? Are you really gonna leave me in suspense? The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Pick odds? up his coffin, make sure he's dead. I know it doesn't make any sense. It's Jacob. Unless the killer was Jason. Only using his name. Jason. But why use the name of a kid who died thirty oh, years no, ago? No, it's not then. Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard. You never give up, do you? I hope it's not expecting me to read gravestones, because I can't read a single thing from this distance. Is someone digging? Grave digger might know. I hear him, but I don't see him. Is he over here somewhere? Here you are. Help. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Stay to here. A little further out. Thanks. Thank you. A little creepy that you wouldn't look at me while I talk to you, but sure. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The Why children's are graves are in the next plot. I'm trying to go that way, but it turned me around. It won't let me go in. Okay, do you want me to take a fucking road? Why would you not let me go in? Hey Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? I thought he was gesturing in this direction. What? So what do you mean straight ahead? <laughs> straight ahead in which direction if it's not that direction? Maybe the bar said it should have looked around and freaking pointed? 
Jeez, you said it the next lot. To find the next lot. Children plot. Okay, so you're saying it should be here somewhere? I'm so confused. Why does it keep telling me to look at the children plot? That, that doesn't help. God, I can't read any of these names. Would you stop changing the damn camera angle? Rose, Stuart, somebody Morris. Daryl Allen. I can't read it. There we go, hey, found it. I found it. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. It's origami. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Mm-hmm. So is this a relative of the origami killer? Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. Brother is what I was thinking, yeah. Beat it, you lousy, no good brats. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are, are they we going to do? It's pouring rain. We're going to get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least you won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Why am I controlling a kid from a memory? That makes no sense. I could change the memory. you oh hello do you want to go where I tell you to go thank you and help my brother up How do you live? What the? Why? Why? I'm tilting. really necessary it's not like you went far come on jeez you're in nothing but a bitch can't do that probably not oh we're holding Such an impolite brother. That we're really surprised. Are you going up? Jeez, you're in nothing but a. Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow. Come on, loser. Okay, I think the game glitched there for a sec. What's with the whistling? Would you like to? Thank you. What you doing? You're coming or not? Is he gonna fall off? Or is his brother gonna slip trying to prove something? This is so not ideal.
Can't believe we're doing this in the rain. It would be so slick. I would have died a long time ago. the easiest thing so far. How are you gonna get back down? Do you have to climb back down? That sucks. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Why? John, wait for me! It's Get like this isn't even relevant to the story, it's just doing it. Oh god, I can't balance the controller needs me to balance. Um, it's it's like it's doing this just to make you do more actions, not because the story actually requires it. God, is there no middle? Fingers weren't ready for that. It's time to jump the So the other kid is John? I had a feeling that was the case. Oh, wait, what? We're jumping? Can I just go down? Like a sane person? Oh, that's just to look down. Oh, shit. That was a really short jump. Lol. Keeps going. Two, Can't you just cut to the chase of the three, memory? Four, it's really not relevant. Five, six, ten, what? Eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, we just hit X. Sixteen. Oh. Twenty. Jesus, he could be anywhere. God, I don't know. I have no idea where you are. My my earbuds don't do left and right. I'm sorry. Oh, great. That's John's voice. I know, but I have no idea which direction. Though there's water here. John. I mean, John. Where? Here? Uh, help. I thought it was in that water, but no. Help. I don't know where the fuck you are, alright? I honestly have no fucking clue where you are. The kid seems to know where you are, but I have no clue. Go uh, listen up for him. I should follow his voice doesn't help when your freaking earphones have a tendency to put the opposite direction than they should. Can you just tell me where he is? I'm not going to be able to find him, I can tell you that right now. Because to me it sounds like he's over here somewhere, but I can't see him anywhere. 
I, I don't see anything. This is where I heard it the loudest. There's nothing here. Could you just stop saying help and tell me where the fuck you are? Can you imagine? Help, help, help. Yeah, but how the fuck do I get to you? Help, help, help. There he is. Jesus. My foot. My foot is stuck. Grab him. I'll throw it there. Sorry, guys. How they have a body to bury? Well, you shouldn't have been playing somewhere dangerous, should you? Although, to be fair, it's your parents' fault as well for not being, uh, supervising you. Cut it off. Hang on, John. I'll, I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. How do you even fall I'm in? Hurrying. I'll be right back. Obviously, you don't make it back in time. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a park full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. It's probably for the better. I, I think he got adopted. Also probably for the better. Well, looks like a storm. Do you coming. know the name of the family he got adopted I into? Guess I better be getting home. No? Mars? Was it Kramer? Christ, what a horrible story. Is it something unrelated entirely? John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. But then, Ethan does have visions of someone drowning. Didn't he say he did? I don't know. Who leaves the flowers? That's what I want to know. Is it the origami kill of the brother? Wait. What's the matter? It is Kramer. That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. So he didn't want them to know that uh, Gordy's adopted. Ha ha. 